So this is how you can download language in the iPhone Translate app. So on my phone, I currently have two translating applications. I have one from the Apple as well as from Google, right? So, I mean, of course, feel free to pick whichever one you like, but for the one, if you don't have anything, just go to the App Store, look up Translate, and of course, we have the Google one. So there is an update. I'm going to click on update. And there is the one from Apple, which is like ready to be used. And when I get inside, you can see right away how it works. You get to switch the languages and of course, uh, pick the one you want to translate from and to. But for offline using, tap on the three dots at the top and select the download languages. This is going to move you over to the settings app. And essentially, you pick and choose the one you want to download. So I'm going to pick the English US as well as German. So essentially, right now, it is being downloaded from the internet, right? So I just need to wait for these circles to fill up. You can see available offline, I have the English and right now the German as well. And if I turn off Wi-Fi and I don't have any SIM card or any internet connection, you can see that I should have the ability to still translate from English US to German and the other way around. So I should be able to type something in like something simple and it should also be translated even without the internet connection. But for whatever reason, it doesn't seem to be working. So it's not like really that straightforward. But anyways, if I restart the app and return to it, Perhaps it's going to make a difference because I just I'm showing it to you as it should work. But for some reason, it doesn't. Right. So let's just troubleshoot this situation right now. Let's take a look at the downloaded languages again. And you can see that there is nothing available. So I'm going to enable the uh, Wi-Fi connection and let's download it again. I guess it happens. So let me just download English as well as German. And once again, let's try it one more time to wait for these like little circles to get completed, meaning that the languages are downloaded. As you can see right now, it should work. So let me just restart the app and see if that made any difference. Let's disconnect the internet again and English to German. And now it officially works offline. So if that ever happens to you, just know that this is probably what you need to do. Just redo the whole process again. But that's essentially how it works. Let me know below if you have any additional questions. Most definitely subscribe and hit the thumbs up if you like the video. And see you in the future ones. <laughs>